Hey everyone, it's Laura from the blog ArtReallyHouse.com and today I'm going to share with you the only five ingredients you need to make all of your skincare. So if you've been around my channel long, you know that I love making my own skincare, hair care, cleaning products, all those things to really get natural products into my home and get toxin filled things out of my home. So when it comes to skincare, it can seem really overwhelming because there are face moisturizers, there's face washes, there's body butters, there's lotions, there's diaper cream, so many different products that you use daily. So if you go and you look at your daily skincare routine, you probably start off in the morning with brushing your teeth, washing your face, putting some type of face moisturizer on there, maybe some spot treatment, putting on makeup, and that's just the beginning of your day. And then throughout the day, we're using things to keep our hands clean and soft and just so many different products and the problem with this is that a lot of these products are just full of toxins and chemicals and things that we really should not be putting on our skin because it's just really unhealthy so here on my channel, like I said, I show you how to make your own. And the good news is, is that you really only need five ingredients to make all the things that I just mentioned. So today, I'm going to go into those five ingredients, tell you what they are, the best way to get them and source them, and some of the benefits of them. And then once you have all those ingredients, be sure to just go around on my channel here and look around for some lotions and body butters and chapsticks and face moisturizers to make with your five products because once you have these five, you can really make everything that you need. Now, if you're new here, also be sure to check out the link in my description box for my free essential oil masterclass. In that class, I really dive into using essential oils safely and more on making your own products and things to really revamp your home, getting conventional chemical filled products out of our home, getting natural products in because it's very sustainable because we're using way less plastic. It is more cost efficient than buying natural green wash things at the store. And it's really good for your skin. So there's a link for my masterclass to learn all this and more down in my description box, or you can get that at bit.ly forward slash our oily house masterclass. That's B-I-T dot L-Y slash our oily house masterclass. Okay, so let's get into these five ingredients that you need to revamp your entire skincare routine and products in your home daily. First, I'll just give you the five and then we'll talk about them. So shea butter, beeswax, coconut oil, vitamin E oil, and essential oils. With those five things, you can make everything that you need to keep your skin healthy, youthful, clear, and just moisturized and beautiful. So let's kind of dive into each one of these products. Now, if you are a person that rather read than watch, head over to my blog. I have a link for that in the description box. I actually wrote out this video in script basically, so you can read it if you prefer it that way. Shea butter is number one on my list. Shea butter has amazing properties for the skin. And the most important thing about shea butter is that it's very moisturizing, super hydrating for the skin, and it can help with dry, cracked skin. It can help with sunburned skin. It can help with damaged skin, um, the bottoms of your feet, the heels where it's cracked skin, it can help with that. Now, shea butter can be replaced with cocoa butter or even mango butter. Those are all very popular butters and all three of them can be exchanged equally in a recipe. So some people love, like me, the smell of shea butter. It's not very intense. It's very light, but it has a nutty smell to it. Other people do not. So if you're a person that does not like the smell of shea butter, but you still want some similar benefits, you can use cocoa butter or mango butter. Now, when you're looking for products like shea butter, cocoa butter, mango butter, you want to be looking for the words raw, unrefined, pure, fair trade. Those are some of the key words that I look for when I'm purchasing 
cocoa butter, mango butter, or shea butter. Shea butter alone can be used on your skin as a lotion. Um, it can be used for a face moisturizer. And I know some people think that it can clog pores and it kind of depends on your skin type. Personally, I have good luck with shea butter on my face and I know a lot of my readers and subscribers do too because I have a face moisturizing recipe and it has great reviews. So I know that it works for a lot of people, but if it doesn't work on your skin, on your face, then you can try something else, but shea butter on your body as well as a really good all natural body moisturizer. So even if you don't wanna make it and you don't wanna have like all these different ingredients to make a lotion, just using plain shea butter will work. Now, shea butter also has a natural SPF of about six. So when you're using it onto your face or just in a chapstick or something, it will give you a little bit of that SPF sun protection as well. Okay, the next ingredient that I wanna talk about is beeswax. Beeswax also has amazing benefits for the skin. In fact, long ago, people used beeswax for skin ailments, for burns, because that was all they had. Beeswax has natural antibacterial properties, it has natural antiviral properties, and so it's really, really good for cleansing and purifying the skin. Um, long ago, people would take beeswax and put it straight onto a burn wrap it and that would really help to heal and soothe bad burns. It can help with sunburns. Um, the really good thing about beeswax is that it also will make your DIY skin product more waterproof because it beads up and provides a protective layer on the skin. So whenever you add it into lotions or creams or sunscreen even, it's going to help to make it waterproof. It's also really good for making eyeliner and mascara and things like that because again, it will be waterproof and make it not smudge. So beeswax is a really good product to add into your skincare product. It will help it to firm up. So if you're making any type of lotion bar or cream that you want to be a little bit more firm, then adding in beeswax is gonna give it that perfect texture. When you're looking for beeswax, again, pure beeswax, kind that is coming from um, bee farms that are not using any type of pesticides to make it be as natural as it possibly can be. Um, no added in colors. You can find white beeswax and that's going to be bleached. So you want to stay away from that in your skincare products. I feel like that's okay if you're making a candle and you want a white looking candle, but for skin, I try to stay with that yellow pure beeswax. Now, if possible, try to source your beeswax locally because local beeswax is going to give you benefits as well because the bees are pollinating flowers in your area so it can even help with allergies and things like that so if you have access to a local bee farm um, just go ask them if they sell the beeswax a lot of beekeepers have an overabundance of beeswax and are happy to share it with you or at least sell it to you or something like that okay the third thing is coconut oil now coconut oil has become a known superfood in like the health food world. Everyone knows by now that coconut oil has some amazing benefits for overall wellness. It's good for your heart. It has really good fats in it that are great for just brain development. And it's also really good for your skin. Coconut oil is also antibacterial. It's antiviral. It has antifungal properties. And so coconut oil is gonna be really good for any type of like skin imperfection. It can help with fine lines, wrinkles, age spots, you name it, coconut oil can probably help it. So if you have fungal toenails or athlete's foot, coconut oil is going to help for that. Coconut oil is one of my favorite goes to for diaper rash in my kids because it has those antifungal properties. And so if you're dealing with a yeast infection, coconut oil is going to help. So I love getting coconut oil into my recipes because it is going to make that product that much more beneficial for your skin. Now, a couple things about coconut oil because I get this question all the time. Coconut can be a common allergy. So if you are making one of my recipes and it calls for coconut oil and you are allergic to coconut oil, you cannot replace that with just any carrier oil because coconut oil does become a solid and so it will change the texture completely if you use a different carrier oil like olive oil or avocado oil. But 
You can take it out of most recipes and it's still going to work. You're obviously not gonna get the benefits of the coconut oil, but if you're making like a shea butter, cocoa butter, beeswax type lotion or lotion bar and you take the coconut oil out, it should still work just fine. You might have to adjust some of your other ingredients, but you can omit it from the recipe to make it to where it's friendly for people that have coconut allergies. Now, the second thing about coconut oil is that it can make your products a little greasy. Now, if you are just switching over from using conventional, just regular products off the shelf at your local store to making your own, you might think that your products feel greasy. And so that is common. It's going to be a little bit more greasy because of the ingredients that we're using and we're not using any type of chemicals to infuse that and make it less greasy, which is good because we want it to be more natural. But something that you can do is add in air root powder. Air root powder will help to absorb some of that oil and make your product less greasy. Okay, the fourth ingredient that I'm gonna talk about is vitamin E oil. Vitamin E oil is a great source of antioxidants. It helps to fight just free radicals that are going around in the environment. It helps to reduce inflammation and vitamin E oil has great, great benefits for your skin. It can help promote clear, healthy, youthful looking skin. So with vitamin E oil, you usually only need a couple of drops for that to put into a recipe because it's very strong and concentrated, so you don't need very much. So when you are using vitamin E oil, it usually comes in a dropper top. It can also come in a capsule, open that up, add it into your lotions, mix it in, and it's going to have some great benefits for your skin. Now, if you're not already making your own products and you just have some lotion or something at home and you wanna add vitamin E oil to it, you can do that mix it in and get those benefits. Now, vitamin E oil can also be taken internally. So depending on what skin ailment you are dealing with, you might wanna take some internally or use it topically. Be sure to check with your provider about that to see what's best for you. Vitamin E is a very rare deficiency, so most people have enough vitamin E, but if you are low in it, that could give you some skin issues. So that might be something you wanna check on if you're dealing with things like eczema, psoriasis, or really dry, damaged skin. Okay, the fifth thing and last thing that you need to start making all your own skincare is essential oils. Now, essential oils are natural aromatic compounds that can be found in the bark of a tree, the leaf of a plant, the petal of a flower, or even a peel from a piece of fruit. Essential oils have a beautiful scent to them and really make your homemade product customizable because you can scent it however you want, but it's also going to give your skincare products more benefits. Several essential oils can be used to help with wrinkles, um, reducing the signs of scars, helping with blemishes, and they're very cleansing and purifying for the skin. So some of my favorite essential oils to use on the skin are frankincense, lavender, tea tree, and rose essential oil. Those four are really, really good for the skin. They're gonna help with anti-aging. They're gonna help to keep your skin clean. They're gonna help with pimples and just different skin imperfections. So if you're dealing with something like that, just taking a little bit of tea tree and putting it onto the problem area, it's gonna help to reduce that, which is just great, obviously. Um, and then just putting those products into your lotions or your face creams are really gonna help you to get those properties onto your skin to get those benefits. Go and gather those five things. Get yourself some shea butter, coconut oil, beeswax, vitamin E oil, and essential oils. I will link the ones that I use down in my description box to make finding everything easier. But like I said, if you have a local source, go there first because that's gonna be best for you and your skincare. And then be sure to check out some of my skincare recipes. I'll just link those down there too for you so you can start making some of your own products. Now my number one tip when it comes to making your own skincare is not to get overwhelmed. Don't let this stress you out. Start with one 
one thing. So if you want to start making chapstick, make that, try it out, get used to it. If you like it, then go on to maybe making a body butter or a face moisturizer or whatever it is. I hope this video was helpful and I hope that it helps you to start being able to make your own skincare products and just get conventional things out of your home to really clean up your house and get toxins out. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.